Well, hello there. I'm Scott Waller. I'm one of the thrombosis physicians here at the Intermountain Medical Center. And if you received a link to this video from our front office staff, it's uh, likely because you had experienced a deep vein thrombosis. DVT uh, can be frightening. Therefore, uh, we wanted to put together just this little orientation video um, to perhaps answer some questions that might, you might have while you're waiting uh, to come in and see us. Um, firstly, uh, please don't be surprised if um, we'd scheduled you to come and see us around 12 weeks after you had your event. That's really the time window of therapy when we would end up making decisions surrounding how to optimally treat you going forward. In effect, uh, all patients uh, merit a minimum duration of 12 weeks anticoagulation uh, in the setting of deep vein thrombosis when anticoagulants are elected uh, before any additional decision making occurs. Uh, briefly, uh, in uh, way of orientation to your condition, um, there is a, a small subset of patients that can experience blood clots that are isolated to the calf. So they do not involve the upper part of the leg that uh, receive serial ultrasound alone and not anticoagulants. Um, please don't be surprised if that was elected in your case. By and large, however, we use anti-clotting medicines to treat blood clots that are in the upper part of the leg. And the two principal medicines we use are called Eliquis, which is dosed uh, 10 milligrams or two tablets in the morning, two tablets in the evening for the first seven days, and then five milligrams, one tablet in the morning, one tablet in the evening thereafter. The other most frequently utilized medicine is called Xarelto. The dosing for that is a little different. It's in fact one 15 milligram tablet in the morning, a 15 milligram tablet in the evening for the first 21 days, and then it switches to one 20 milligram tablet daily thereafter. Please don't be surprised if over these days and weeks you experience swelling that gets a little bit better, a little bit worse um, in your affected limb. Um, the more active you can be, the better. We believe that that clearly helps in your body's resorbing the blood clot. Um, certainly, if you're sitting down watching the nightly news, uh, feel free to elevate your leg because sometimes that'll help things feel better. But uh, staying highly active is clearly helpful. I'm often asked whether or not uh, there's need to wear one of the knee-high compressive stockings. In fact, recent evidence suggests that using a stocking in addition to anticoagulation is no better than anticoagulation alone. Therefore, I'll encourage my patients um, to uh, be certain that they don't miss any of their pills and only use the stockings if they think it helps them feel better. If you end up with questions in the interim, our number is 801-507-3310. We'd be happy to speak with you, but we especially look forward to seeing with you, uh, sitting with you and describing um, how to best care for your condition around that 12-week mark. Be well and let us know if there's anything we can do to help you in the interim.